hey everyone, welcome back to the Obsidian Empire. So, uh, today's video is going to be a little different from all the rest of them. Uh, this is just a memorial to a good friend of mine. Well, uh, I would consider him a good friend, yes. Uh, his name was Sage Aluko. He re just died last night. So maybe... I don't know, a little bit less than 24 hours ago, um, from this disease, DMD. Uh, I've known him since, I knew him <laughs> since fifth grade, when I first went into public schools. Uh, hung out with him during recess, ate lunch with him quite a few times. Um, said hi to him in the hallway, especially the last time we, uh, I saw him. But he, he died of this disease. He, uh, <laughs> he was in a, he was actually in a wheelchair, I think, since a little bit into fifth grade. He got into a wheelchair and he's had an aid ever since. Once we got into high school, um, which was last year. We got, well, he got a, um, a nice electric wheelchair so we could go down the street and stop if he wanted to and cross the street all on his own again. <sighs> he had excellent grades, like all A pluses. He wouldn't settle for even a 95, had to be 100 or, you know, had to be an A plus. Uh, God, he was, he was a good man, very good man. Very good, very good guy, and uh, so this this video just goes out to his parents. I know his pa his parents probably don't watch this channel, but this is just a memorial to him. And I'll sage you will be missed by me and many others. Your parents, the aide that's been with you for five years. <laughs> uh it will, he, he will be missed. He will be very, very missed. Uh, I mean, many others. Oh, my God. It just, it just doesn't feel real, you know? It's like I, I can go on living knowing that he's dead, but at the same time, I don't believe it. It's just, it's that kind of death. I mean, I haven't had to deal with a loss that, that I knew too, with a person I knew too well. Since I think, um, I think it was my grandma Nana. She died when I was six, five or six. Uh, she, my grandma Nana was my uh, my great grandma for my uh, dad's side grandfather, uh, for my grandfather, my dad's father. So it was his grandmother. It just doesn't feel real. <laughs> I actually um, have a name. Right here, Sage Luca. So yeah, Sage, you will be you will be very very missed by all, and it just goes to show you that he uh, this this kind of disease is very deadly. So please keep an eye out for people who have this disease. Because you might see him today, you might not see him tomorrow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just don't believe it. It's that kind of a thing, you know? Uh, anyway, that's a color note. I want to see what else I need to record today. Oh yeah, uh, and then let's just do a little bit of a theory in this episode as well. Uh, some random thing, let's just make that this one. Because it is, it is kind of random that he died. The principal was torn up about it. The, the aide wasn't really torn up about it, but that's just not on the outside. I think um, on the inside he was very torn up about it. And this principal, he's uh, like an interim principal. He's not the real principal, or not yet at least, I think. He This is um, huge for him because it's his first year as principal, a student dies of a disease. It's huge for him. Anyway, I've also been wanting to make this video here, so um, some theory I've been thinking on. 
a thing in about. So let's, uh, so who will be on the Resistance High Command in Episode 9? Well, it will obviously be some, uh, a lot of the officers and Leia, possibly Poe, that will be on the High Command. Um, others. Uh, others could be some pilots. You know, they could have their own squadrons. Uh, I was thinking, you know, more along the lines of uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn joining in. Maybe, maybe not. You know, Ezra, Sabine, maybe Ahsoka, uh, maybe Hera. You know, this is just to get the theory out there. God, Sage, Sage will be missed. You know what? I'm gonna just start this list right now. Friends of mine that have passed away. So Sage Luco is unfortunately the first one on that list. Um, what, what did I? What was I just talking? About? Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to get to. <laughs> Anyway, back to the theory. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, he's, uh, oh, sorry, yeah, on the Rebel High Command. It could be, you know, who else could you imagine that we know of being on the Rebel High Command in Episode 8? Can you guys tell me that? Um, yeah, just uh, leave that, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And then, uh... I guess the only thing left to do is but to share some uh, <laughs> some other animes I've been watch I've been watching. I'm in the middle. I finished uh, Strap Princess King of King of Bandit Jin Jing J Jing of Bandit King King of Bandit Jing oh whatever. Um, uh, and Serial Insurance Lane. Uh, I also learned that unfortunately One Punch Man is gone, just gone. And Kimi ni Todoke, I am on the last episode of, whoa, of season one, so hopefully I can get through that without being torn up about them kissing or something. <laughs> this video has a lot in it, but, you know, it's, uh... <sighs> Sage is gone. Excuse me. Whew. That was a long one. Sage is gone. I got animes I've watched. Um, animes I'm watching. And. No, 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 no. Okay, you know what? No. Oh, crap. What the flippin' hell happened? Nope, nope, nope. I'll just go on to this tab. Uh, anyway. Uh, it's got a lot in it. So, a memorial to Sage, as well as a Star Wars theory, as well as an anime update for me. I'll be talking about more more about World Conquest of Esther plot on the in a video. Excuse me, whew, that I've been working on or that it, it it's already made. It's in the gallery, I think. No, oh, 